hurting. I think I might be live. I think maybe it's working. Um, you guys, this is sort of a test. I'm trying something new on my laptop. Uh, it looks like maybe some people are coming in. I see numbers going up over here. So say hi. Wait, why, why can't I see comments? Usually there are comments by now. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's all the way down there. So I have to scroll down here. Oh, maybe I need to change my window. Bear with me, you guys. I'm doing this on my laptop. And the upside to this is that uh, I will be able to use my laptop, which I can hard, like, hard wire connect or hard line connect into my modem. And I don't have to depend on Wi-Fi, which would be amazing. So this is just a test. I'm not even like doing anything. It's working. Yay. The one thing, so I'm on a thing called Lula, uh, Lula TV. And um, there isn't a way to connect to Facebook, though. It doesn't have Facebook as an option. It has Instagram and Twitter, Periscope, and even TikTok. But honestly, this is horrible, but I don't remember my TikTok login information. So I have to uh, look into that. <laughs> but then I can do that, too, which is kind of fun. I posted a TikTok today, you guys. Man. Anyway, it's so fun. Hey, everyone. So this is great that it's working. That is fantastic. Do you guys have any comments about how this compares to how I usually do it? And then the other thing is I have another window open that I haven't hit start on for Facebook to see if I can, in two separate windows on my laptop, stream um, to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Because that's usually what I do. But I usually use three different devices, and they're all on the Wi-Fi, which means that like one of them will get deprioritized, I guess, and sometimes it you know drops out. I'm not if I were addicted to TikTok, I'd probably be posting more than like once every week and a half, which seems to be what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, thanks for all the Mother's Day wishes. By the way, you guys, so I'm doing these uh, personalized video shout outs on Cameo. It's, if you go to cameo.com forward slash Janica McKellar, uh, and up until eight o'clock tonight, my time, which is an hour and a half from now, if you give if you um, submit it, then I'll, I will do it in time tonight before tomorrow morning. It's not cheap, but all of the proceeds that I make go to um, two charities, Child Help and No Kid Hungry. So if you're looking for a last minute Mother's Day gift and you have a little cash and you've been wanting to donate to an important charity, it's sort of like a win-win-win. So there you go. Thanks, everyone. You guys are great. It's much clearer this way. Thank you for that feedback, Jerry. I, you know, I asked for feedback, then I started talking and I stopped looking at the comments. If you want to give me, a, if you want me to do a shout out, say your actual name and where you're from, because reading these usernames is like impossible. I don't know, like <laughs> they're so hard to read. It's like, hi, Gwen Lax something. Well, thanks for all the Mother's Day comments. You guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, so I've been doing a bunch of Mother's Day cameos, these video shout outs, and it's very sharp visually. Oh, good. See, that's that's what we want in today's society. I was going to say, we're in 2020. We should have good... Oh, I don't want to talk about 2020. I don't want to talk about the expectations of what 2020 we're going to be. Guys, we're going to be okay, though. We really are. We're going to be fine. We really, really are. Hey, Brian in San Diego. Jam James uh, in Manhattan. Nate. Starleet. Hey, Barry from New York. And Michael. Seth. Oh, now we're coming in too fast. We're going to be able to do them. Hey, Kara. All right, so here's what I want to try. Hey, Wendy, I want to try going also live on Facebook to see what this is like. So this is a stream, but it's not really a stream. Like, I'm not really going live right now. I mean, I am, but I'm not, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm doing yet. So you guys are all guinea pigs. Hi, Tina in Pennsylvania. My son is doing great. He's with his dad right now, but he will be with me tomorrow for sure. Obviously, it's Mother's Day. We share custody. So, yes, Ed, and everyone is going to be fine. It really is. It's just a little rough patch, that's all. Okay, let me see if I can get, <clears throat> if I can go live. I don't know how this works. I've never gone live on Facebook on my laptop before. Yeah, <laughs> it's a test. It's Mother's Day tomorrow in the U.S., actually. Well, Sunday, it might. Is it still Saturday for you? I think it's just Mother's Day for you. Um, okay, share on a page I manage, yes. 
go live. Let's see if this works. Okay, you guys, I'm doing a test right now. This is just a test. If we're really a video, then I would be doing something more interesting than I'm doing. But I'm um, what I'm looking to do is be able to broadcast with better clarity. So, uh, so we're trying. To, I've got two windows open. I'm um, on my laptop, which I'm able to hardwire into my modem instead of uh, you know instead of relying on Wi-Fi. Well, thanks, guys. Oh, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, I had fun reading the Lorax. I've done a bunch of book readings actually. Hey, everyone. Yeah, so I'm, so how's it? So okay, I'm getting reports from uh, Twitter and um, and Instagram that it's much clearer than when I usually broadcast. So are you guys finding that as well on Facebook that it's like a clear image? If so, I'm like super excited because I that's just that's just would be really exciting. I'm a little bit of a I'm not really a tech nerd. I've never been a tech nerd, but these days I feel like I'm becoming a tech nerd. Ethernet, yeah, Ethernet's way better obviously. And I have this cord, this ethernet cord, because we only have one modem in the house, but I want to be able to go wherever. It's like 200 feet long. So I just, <laughs> I mean, it's, look, ideally I'd have ethernet through the entire house, but that's a big expensive project. Hi everyone. You're watching on Instagram and Facebook and Instagram's clear. That's interesting. Both of them have the same connection and I'm, I'm on my laptop for both. It is a sauna behind me. Yes, it's an infrared sauna. I'm going to be doing it later. In fact, I'm going to be doing it soon. I need to be doing it like now-ish. I was like, you know what? I want to test. See, I, I don't have, uh, so I share custody with my son. And on the days that I don't have him, like today, but yes, I will have him tomorrow for Mother's Day. Um, I just try to get a bunch of stuff done because I can be much more focused. <laughs> so yeah, I would love any comments you guys have in terms of how I do have Wi-Fi. I do have Wi-Fi, and I usually use Wi-Fi, but it's not as reliable, especially these days with everybody being online. And I just hate it when suddenly it'll say, "Oh, the connection dropped," or, or I look back at, or I'll look back at um, a scope uh, or a, a broadcast, and I'm like, "Oh, that looks so grainy. I wonder if that's how it looked when I was doing it." Periscope is clearer than Facebook. I wonder what's up with Facebook. So Facebook is just choosing not to send as good a signal, probably because there's a billion people on Facebook. <laughs> but how does Facebook compare to how Facebook usually looks? That's what I'm most interested in. I can't do anything about what Facebook does, but I can do something about the quality that I am feeding it. My son is nine years old. Thank you, Craig. Looks good. You're on both? How does it look compared to how Facebook usually looks? That's what I'm really interested to hear. For people who often um, tune in, like on my Motivational Mondays. It's looking okay. The audio is a bit muddy. <clears throat> That's interesting. Much better quality than before. Thank you, um, Maitesh. Thanks, Marie. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, it's a cat. Yeah, it is a cat six cord. I'm like on Amazon researching stuff. Cat five or cat six? Periscope is always clear. I've been find, trying to find a mask where they're sold out. So I just posted something on my Insta stories, which I think posted to Facebook stories as well. Uh, just a little warning about wearing a mask that if you wear your mask for too long and don't change it out, you can actually grow mold in that kind of environment. And I don't know how long it takes for that to happen, but be careful, you guys. We don't want to be causing mold. Hey, sweetie. I'm going live. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a live test right now. Uh, live on, on my laptop. What's that? Mm -hmm. uh, well, all sorts of wonderful people on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> hi, bud. That's my husband. Hello. Saying nice hi. I never do it up here on my laptop, so yeah. I'm super. I'm. See, I'm, I'm like so techy. I'm such a tech nerd now. Nice. nice. I'm like doing all this crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, it's not an issue of breathing carbon dioxide. It's. In, in, I was talking about masks. Mm -hmm. You wear your mask too long, you can get you can grow mold in there and stuff. You got to be careful. So either. If it's a reusable one, make sure you wash it often, or if it's uh, disposable, dispose of it and like don't, you know, or just do your own due diligence. I'm not a mask expert. It's just something that I'd never thought of before and it's new. And anytime there's new stuff going on, you gotta, you know, be careful and do your 
do your research, be safe. Because what I was reading was that mold, uh, you start breathing in mold and that can lead to like depression and stuff. And we don't need that right now. <laughs> we don't need something right now. Doug, we do have Wi-Fi repeaters. It just, I, I know, our Wi-Fi just is not good here. I've been on so many customer service calls about the Wi-Fi and finally, you know what, let's look for something else. Yes, he loves Top Gun. Thanks guys. So any of you guys check out my TikTok video yet? I just did a TikTok today, actually. Um, do, so anybody who's on TikTok, there's this song like, I'm a savage. Dunna, dunna, dunna. Uh, I'm not making any sense. Anyway, there's a really funny song. It's called I'm a Savage, which is called Savage, but the, the lyrics are like, I'm a savage, sassy, moody, you know, whatever. Um, and I did a parody of it about Fred Savage. So that's on my TikTok account if you want to go check it out. <laughs> so silly. I have food my teeth. I have food my teeth, you guys. Nobody told me it was a chia seed. Hey, Molly. You wash your mask every day? Good. Good, good, good. I'm sure that in the hospitals and stuff, they know what they're doing. Good temperatures, I don't know what that means. Yeah, so any of you guys, if you're on TikTok, if you wanna go, you like the one with the chocolate bunny? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so anyway, I had a lot of fun doing that. The sound is a little distorted, reverberates. That's bizarre. I don't know what to do about that. You know what, although I have a, like an external microphone that I could try plugging in. That's getting crazy though. Then I'd have to make sure that both, both, um, both windows, like both Facebook and Lula TV, which is how I'm doing the Twitter and, and Facebook, that they both could recognize the external mic. That sounds like another test for another day. Where's that microphone? It actually might be in the other room. Um, but I don't want to do that right now. Anyway, I have, I have things, I have a list of things to do today. PC mics always break, always weak. Well, this is a MacBook, I don't know if that matters. But the, the microphone that I have is called um, Blue Yeti X. And I've been hearing now that that's not the best microphone, so it's a USB microphone. So I guess the best kind of microphone would be an XLR. See how much I've been learning? An XLR connection, but then you have to get a little box that you plug in the XLR and then the other side goes into the USB and connects into your computer. So we'll see about all that. How bad is the sound? So the sound usually is really good, but now it isn't, so it's not as good as it usually is. You think the audio reverberating is minor? I wonder if it's my desk. I've got, I mean, it's on a book on my desk. I wonder if that's it. Yeah, I don't know much about the internal mic on my Mac. It sounds fine to you? Oh, good. Sounds like I'm in a cave. I could go into my son's room where the bunk bed, where I've got the pillows and things, where I've been, I recorded an episode of a cartoon series two days ago. Not as good, but picture quality makes up for it. Maybe I'll just have to learn to speak a little more slowly than I usually do. The sound is okay. If you come to Brazil, oh, Talking about my book, The Times Machine. That book comes out June 30th, but you can pre-order it now. The Times Machine is a book about multiplication and division for third and fourth graders, even second graders, and it teaches multiplication and division with comic strips and cartoons and super fun. And if you go to mckellarmath.com and you fill out the form after you've pre-ordered it, just take like a screenshot of it, fill out the form, and uh, we will send you within a few days, you'll get a PDF of like, more than 20 pages from the book to help your kid now. So if you're at home, schooling at home, this is why we're doing it. So many people are schooling at home that if you've got um, someone, a kid who's trying to learn multiplication and division and it's tough, this book is really, really fun. I've been working on it for years. I'm really, really proud of this book and I really believe in it. So if you uh, check it out, it's called The Times Machine. And yes, there's times travel. There's time travel in it as well as times tables. Uh, then you can do that right now. You can pre-order it and it'll arrive June 30th, but you, in the meantime, you'll get a portion of the book sent to you if you go to mckellarmath.com and fill out the form. So check that out. The last thing I want to say is that I'm going to go uh, take this little bit of makeup off, work out, and go into my sauna. 
try to be healthy. And um, if you want a video shout out for your mom or, or the mom in your life for Mother's Day and you've been wanting to donate to a charity, just go to cameo.com forward slash Danica McKellar. For the next hour and a half, I'll still be taking requests. So if I get it before 8 o'clock my time, I will absolutely make sure it happens. And um, all the money I donate that I make gets donated to No Kid Hungry and Child Help, which are two organizations that are really helping out right now during the pandemic for kids that, that need the help the most. So uh, again, if you're looking for a last minute Mother's Day gift and you have some cash and you want to help some kids, then check out cameo.com forward slash Danica McKellar. I did 28 of them uh, in my last sitting today. And I'd like, I've done many, I've done like a hundred of them in the last couple of days. <laughs> really been something. We're making so much money for these charities, you guys. It feels so good to be able to send off that money and you guys are making it happen. So, so thank you so much and happy Mother's Day to all the moms. And maybe I'll get to do some personal ones, uh, personalized ones for you guys. And I'll be back on Monday for McKellar Motivational Monday. Of course, I'm seeing my mom tomorrow. Yes, Linda. And uh, much, much love to you all. Thanks for being part of my test. Mwah. Bye.